If there are hotels and maybe casinos, I'll have a wonderful time. Not everyone may be inspired by Shimmerman's vision to become an interstellar entrepreneur, but cast members do recognize their unusual influence on Star Trek fans. If there's any one thing that is greatly and consistently satisfying to me about having been involved with Star Trek now for 28 years, it is that moment when a scientist, a young, brilliant astrophysicist or whatever, a biologist, or, uh, somebody in the sciences says to me, I grew up on Star Trek, I'm a scientist, I'm in science because of Star Trek. Dr. Mae Jemison saw Star Trek years ago. It sparked her imagination. She studied, trained, prepared for that day when she'd board the space shuttle and lift off into orbit. I'm really excited. I guess my feeling is more one of excitement and one of being able to, um, to stretch and to go somewhere that I haven't gone before and somewhere I've always wanted to. That day came on September 12th, 1992. Hi, May, from Chicago. So how are you? After her triumph as an astronaut on the space shuttle Endeavour, Jemison took a side trip to join the crew of the Enterprise. Phase distortion is dropping. The next transport window opens in 42 seconds. How long will we have, Lieutenant? 36 minutes, sir. Mae Jemison, yes. I mean, she was so excited when she was on the, on the Next Generation show to know that someone as a child was inspired to literally reach for the stars because of this thing. You know, it's, it's quite incredible enormous impact. It's at times humbling because uh, there are the occasions when scientists expect me to be able to follow these extremely complex and profound theories that they're working on because I'm the guy who in some way or my character in some way influenced them when they were young. You know, well, they've obviously gotten educations and and gotten their, their gray matter together in a way that I never have, you know. The conditions at Edwards Air Force Base are good. At Huntsville, Alabama, a whole new generation of Star Trek viewers and potential astronauts are going to space camp. In the course of a week, they'll find out how to work in zero gravity. They'll learn some of the unique aspects and challenges of working in space. And they'll even get a taste of life in a space station. Space Camp may not be Starfleet Academy, but the kids seem to take it just as seriously. All right, count left six, radar altimeter to one. Check. They even participate in simulated shuttle launches, complete with unexpected emergencies. Capcom, what is the problem with the orbiter? Uh, voltage. Star Trek may give viewers a strong vision of an interstellar future, but actual participation in the real thing is a pretty powerful experience. This time, science fiction may have to take a back seat to science facts. These kids are following in the footsteps of those who have boldly gone before. And who knows, some of them may go even further, out into the stars. The Wright brothers just didn't happen to go out and put some wings together on a bicycle and say, gee, I wonder what this is good for. It was the vision of being able to fly that uh, really has, has driven people. And now I think that's just the vision of being able to really live, explore, open space is the next vision. And, and what's exciting about that is it's, it's limitless. <laughs> the appetite for wondering about the future is insatiable. I am certainly one who hopes I am filled with hope, and this, this show certainly talks about that, that there is hope. Star Trek has created a future in which our children and their children will be the new explorers of tomorrow, with distant worlds to discover. It's a future where science and technology are the tools used for the good of humanity and those we encounter along the way.
Tomorrow, KPBS will bring you the next edition of our series on the latest advancements in computers and technology, Computer Chronicles, starting tomorrow at 12 noon. And still to come tonight from KPBS, Great Performances presents a sequel to Lawrence of Arabia, as Ray Fine stars in A Dangerous Man, Lawrence After Arabia, next at 11.